Lindsay and welcome back to my channel and to another haul. I have a ridiculous amount of <laughs> items here and by what I mean ridiculous I mean ridiculous like this is insane um, but all, all this has accumulated uh, to be fair and also I finally got my July pre-sale in from Simply Gilded so that's why there's a lot of things here um, but yeah, I think this is just going to be a one-part haul. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Um, I feel like I've also just done a lot of hauls recently, so I'm sorry. But um, I needed to haul this stuff just because, honestly, it's just chilling on my desk and everywhere. And I'm like, this is too much stuff. I need to get rid of this. I need to haul it. So we're going to be doing that today. I think I'm going to start with the sticker-related things first and then do Simply Gilded just because there's a ton of it. Um, but I do have... In order from Simply Gilded, I have one from Caress Press. I have Scribble Prints Co., obviously, Glam Planner. What else is in here? No White Space Stickers. Um, Letters to Apollo, which is my first ever order from there. Uh, Simply a Mess. Um, and what else is back here? I think that's all Scribble Prints Co. So, I think that's majority of what I had. So, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so just as a warning, I do have my old lens on here, so hopefully it doesn't go into crazy autofocus and unfocus. If it does, I will put it back on manual focus, but this is the quieter lens, so hopefully it's okay. We'll see, hopefully. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just start with Crest Press because I think I only have one kit from them. I probably should have organized this, but the dummy that I am did not. Hold on, I'm sorry. Um, yes, okay, so I only have one kit from Crest Press. This is going to be kind of my fall slash Christmas kit. So this is going to be the kit that I'm gonna be using when I want to transition from that last fall kit to Christmas because it does have those fall colors but is 100% a Christmas kit. Um, and actually I'm really, really excited for this kit because I saw it and as soon as I saw it, I was like, I need this. So first thing, you do have a little freebie here that is on clear paper. And it has a full box overlay, um, a couple of icons, and then some scripts right here. And this is in gold foil. And then this is the Letters to Santa kit. Again, honestly, I just loved the art in this kit. I know a couple other shops did this, but I loved how she used the fall colors. And I just think it's going to be the perfect transition from fall to specifically Christmas. So I'm excited. Um, so first things first, you have... A couple of little freebies or extras that come with it. I'm not entirely sure if they come with the kit or if she added them in or if I bought them. I honestly don't remember and I probably have the invoice somewhere but I'm not sure. Um, but first thing you have is this kind of double box with the two fashion girls. So there's the one with the darker skin tone that is like writing a letter which it is called Letters to Santa so that is kind of perfect. And then I love this one. This one is one outside with a mailbox um, and just was again dark hair. I just I love this one. I love the outside in the winter. I just think it's really pretty. And then I do also just love this one as well. So she has a sweater on. It's also outside. It's just a face version of her, not her back. And I love her bow. I think it's really cute. So those are the two extra boxes or three extra boxes that you get. And then this is a mini kit. I do get mini kits from her purely just because I like mini kits better. Um, so you have your glitter header sheet with the checklist and deco and some flags and then a weekend banner. Um, and next you have the full boxes. So these full boxes are just different like renditions, I think. Actually, this is pretty much the same. The skin or hair color is a tiny bit darker on that, but those are pretty much the same, but this is definitely a completely different skin color for that. I also dropped a box on the ground, so I'll have to pick that up later. Um, but you do have the full boxes. I love this double box right here. Really, really, really pretty. Also, really quickly, I we literally just got back from Washington yesterday. So if you hear little puppy barks, and my sister telling her to stop. I'm sorry, but you know, we have a new puppy in our family and she's going to be in the background of these videos now. So yeah, if you hear that, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, you have your full boxes. I love this one. I love the Dear Santa with the Naughty or Nice. Um, the presents with the milk and cookies. This one with the cookies. I just, I think this kit is very well done. And again, it has the fall color, so it's perfect for that transition. Next you have your um, like kind of half boxes and quarter boxes sheet, um, some headers and some little things. You have your functional sheet and last but not least you have your washi sheet which does have that extra double box here. Which is that on the roof? No it's not. That's really cute. This is the roof of the house but it has the little Santa sleigh right there. So 
there is that i'm so excited for christmas you guys have no idea how excited i am i also dropped that full box off to pick that up later but that is everything that i got from crest press and next i have an order from letters to apollo which this is my first ever order from there and i think i do have an invoice for this one yeah i do so i did get a couple things honestly her it was a little expensive i mean yes and no so i got it during the pvc fall, fall sale so there was a huge discount that i got on it um but i did get only two different versions of things purely because i couldn't spend that much um but i wanted to still try to get as many of like the foil colors if that makes sense so i did get um the i don't get paid enough for this shit i'm gonna say it i don't care if you guys don't like cursing i'm sorry and the tired af ones um so first things first you do have this freebie which is just a little card that has a fall kind of um flat lay not flat lay design on it and then this is the pbc sale exclusive freebie again this is my first ever order from letters to apollo and her foiling does look really really nice and then it is obviously all cut and everything. She is, I feel like, known for the AF series and also the bows, I think. Not entirely sure. Don't quote me on that. I don't, I've never purchased from her shop before, so um, I'm a little new to it. I don't know exactly what she is known for, but I feel like the AF is definitely what she is known for. Um, but yeah, so this is the freebie, and this is in a gold foil. And then I got, like I said, oh, ooh, my sister is going to get mad because she's barking and my sister's working right now. Ooh, girl. Okay, so I got the Tired AF first, and this is in the hollow, which is so cute. Um, so you just have her logo at the top, and then it does say Share the Love. And uh, you do get two different sizes on here, which is nice, and you do get a decent amount of them, which is also nice. Um, I feel like a huge thing in the planner community is when you order sticker, like, scripts, and you just don't get a lot of them. And they're expensive for foil stickers, so definitely like how there is a decent amount in there and that there are two different sizes so that is the tired af in hollow you have i believe this is the rose gold yeah the rose gold a little hard to see um and then you have the um pink i believe i'm not entirely sure i don't remember exactly what all our foil colors are um you have the gold and you have the silver so that is Tired AF, and then next I got the I don't get paid enough for this shit because that is literally me on a daily basis when I'm actually working. Um, so these are a little bit, like, they're smaller, they're a little bit harder to see, but honestly still pretty good because they probably fit really well into a, um, like, half box. Yeah, they do. They fit very, very well into, like, a quarter box and yeah not too bad not too bad um so i did get also all of the foils in this one as well um so this is the rose gold i believe i don't know maybe it's a light gold it could definitely be a light gold i honestly don't remember um but yeah that's i also will show you guys up close what it looks like let's see how quickly this lens takes to focus not too long um but yeah it is definitely a little bit smaller but that's totally okay um and then you have i think this is the silver you have the rose gold hollow is easiest to see with the foil always and then this one is the gold so that is everything i got to from letters to apollo i will probably be purchasing again in the future um again just a tiny bit out of my budget so we'll see how much i end up purchasing but definitely will probably be purchasing again in the future Everyone raves about Letters to Apollo, so definitely glad to finally have those in my sticker collection. Um, okay, let's go ahead and move on to Glam Planner, because that's what's on top. Do I only have just this one order from them? Yes, okay. So she was doing a, I think it was like a teeny bring it back sale or something. She was doing something with the teeny sale, and I wanted to purchase some of her, um, some of the oldies that I've had before that I just wanted to purchase more of because they used to be only part of her mystery kits and they were a mystery kit add-on and I was like I I don't know I just wanted to kind of stock up on some ones that I was running low on that I knew I wanted to get and then I also stocked up or got all of her newest 
um, or majority of her newest Disney ones because you guys know me. I'm known as the Disney person and also I'm on the hunt to collect like all the Disney character stickers. So I did pick up some of these as well. Um, so first things first, you have Mulan, which I honestly don't remember all of the character names. So I'm sorry. I probably won't get any of these right. Um, I think this is Honey. Could be completely wrong. I know that the animals are like a good like definite of knowing like who is what. I honestly don't remember but I think it's Honey. Um, so you have her as um, Mulan which is really cute so you do have the kind of fancy Mulan and then the warrior Mulan and then you have um, the bunny as Creaky. Uh, oh what is his name? Little Brother and uh, Mushu which is really cute. Um, next you have Moana. I don't know who this one is. Not entirely sure. I know there's Polka and I know there's Honey. I get them confused every time. It probably is Honey again because it has the bunnies. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Um, but you have her as Moana. You have one as Maui. Um, you have one as Hey Hey. I, I don't remember his name. He's the guy that sings the shiny song. I don't remember his name. And then you have one as Pua, which is really cute. Next you have Rapunzel. Um, so this is Teeny. I know that. So you have Teeny as Rapunzel um, just in her normal dress and in the tower. You have um, Teeny and Bop, Teeny and whatever. You have the cat as Pascal as um, Maximus the horse and then the one with the lantern which I think is really really cute. Um, next you have Tiana. I think this is Polka. I think. I'm sorry guys, um, but you have Tiana in her dress and then you have her in her little waitress uniform. You have the alligator. I don't know Rapunzel very, or not Rapunzel, um, Princess and the Frog very well, so I'm sorry um, that I don't know his name. You have it as a frog and then you have Dr. Facilier. It's technically just the wearing the hat, but it still will work. <laughs> that puppy is just completely crazy barking. Um, next you have Belle, so this is Bippity. I do know who Bippity is because she is the one I relate to the most. Um, so she's wearing the yellow dress and then you have her in like the town fashion. Um, you have Bop as or with Chip and then you have him as the Beast which is really cute and then as Lumiere. Next you have Aurora. Um, so you have her again in her princess dresses. I do like how she alternated the princess dresses. Um, and then you have her in her kind of town garb again or like peasant garb I guess. Um, you have um, as Philip with the birds or not even as Philip. Like it's technically could be considered like the animals. Um, and then you have the little oh what is it called? The spinning needle? I think that's what it's called. And then you have the fairies at the bottom. Next you have Ariel again in her mermaid form and in like the peasant type town form. You have it as Flounder, Flotsam and Jetsam, and as Sebastian. And last but not least I have Tarzan. I know there are a couple other ones that she has released recently that I didn't get so I will probably eventually be purchasing those. But I don't know I think any other shop that has Tarzan ones so I was like I need these now. Um, so you do have just the tar Tarzan itself. You have Jane and then the two characters, uh, Turk and I don't remember her, the elephant's name for some reason. Don't know. And then you have the little, oh, megaphone. I know there's a word for that. It's like the cassette or vinyl player. I don't remember what it's called, but you have that. So those are all of the princess-esque related ones that I got. I think there's one more in here. But those are all the tinier sheets that I got. And then next I just have some more, like I said, these are from past mystery kits that um, people are responding. Um, these are from past mystery kits that um, I either wanted to stock up on or I just didn't participate in the mystery kits because I did stop purchasing her mystery kits. I don't know how long ago. It was a decent amount of time ago because I just wasn't using her mystery kits anymore um, or I wasn't liking them as much. So I, when I stopped that, I also topped, stopped the teeny subscription. So it is nice to be able to actually purchase some of these though because I didn't get them in the subscription itself. Um, so first one that you have are the tie-dye shirts. Some of the um, listings didn't have a photo when you purchased it and honestly I just like, oh, tie-dye shirt, that sounds cool. Now I see them, I probably don't know exactly what I'm going to use them for. Honestly, probably if I do decide to tie-dye things, I do have a tie-dye kit um, that I haven't used that yet, so i probably use them for that. But other than that, I'm not entirely sure what else I would use them for, but um, I did, they'd be good for marking the 70s show, if I ever watched that again. 
I don't know. Um, but I did pick up these and you do have all the different um, characters. Next I got these which are the Christmas tree farm ones which are really 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 cute. Um, I actually go to a Christmas tree farm because there's one not too far away from me um, and we always go there every year to pick out our Christmas tree so I might be using these um, for the next time we go get Christmas trees which who knows what's happening with that with COVID. I don't know if they'll be open or not but um, anyway, I picked up these, which I think these are like late ones because they are holding a clock and they are nervous. Um, I don't think I have, do I have an invoice for this? I don't think I do. Let me see. Hold on. No, I don't have an invoice for this. So unfortunately I can't tell you exactly what these are, but I believe they're just like late for work early sets, but I'm probably going to use them to mark. Um, next we have these, which are princess ones. I will be 100% honest with you. I got this for Anastasia's princess, who is technically Bibbidi on here, but she's Anastasia, hands down, 100% Anastasia. Um, and I mainly got it for her because I was like, I need an Anastasia sticker because I love that movie. It's one of my all-time favorite movies. Even if she's not technically a Disney princess, I don't care. I picked it up anyway. Um, but you also do have Brave on here, which I feel like a lot of sheets also just don't have Merida. And then you have Princess and the Frog or Tiana, Cinderella, and... Uh, Snow White. Next you have the Peter Pan ones. Oh, I did get more Disney ones. I think that's it after this. Yeah, that's it after this. Um, I got the Peter Pan ones because again, I wanted to collect all of the Disney stickers. So we have Peter Pan, which are really cute. I love the animals down at the bottom. Next I got the laundry ones because I use a lot of these and I do like Lolly just because I like her hair. Um, but I did get her because I do use them. Um, I got the stickers ones again in Lolly. I think I also got Bibbidi as well, um, just because, again, I use these a lot. Next, you have Bibbidi Laundry. This one looks a little off-colored for some reason. Like, it's definitely a little bit faded, but that's okay. Um, I will still use them, but I use the laundry ones. I got the road trip ones because, again, I will be using these just to mark anything that has to do with my car. I don't specifically use these to mark road trip. I just use them anything or to use them for anything that marking. Oh, my God, that includes marking my car. Good God, my brain. Um, and last but not least, I got the Bippity with the stickers. So that is everything that I got from Glam Planner. Just kind of stocked up on her character stickers because I needed some more and obviously I needed all the Disney ones. Did I really need them? No. Did I get them anyway? Yes. Okay. Next, we have a shop that I'm really excited for because guys... I just, I love this kit that I'm going to be showing you guys. Oh, I just moved like everything. Um, I'm so excited for this kit because of my Disney whole entire year next year. And just, I'm, I'm beyond excited. So look at this kit. This is a Princess Diaries kit. She, I think, is the only shop I've ever seen to come out with a Princess Diaries kit. And I'm so excited. You guys have no idea. So I don't know if I said it. I think I did. This is from Simply Mess Sticker Shop. Um, I have a couple of other kits from her. I don't know if I've actually... Actually, yes. As of this video going up, I have used at least one because I do plan on using a Halloween kit um, from her. But I do have a decent amount of them. She, I actually discovered her shop when I found her Endgame kit, which was the kit I was going to use for Avengers Campus opening. Um, but obviously that got pushed back because of COVID. But um, I've been obviously following her since and I'm just obsessed obsessed with this kit so I'm really excited to show you guys that um first things first I am going to get the little like um card out of here and everything and then I will show you guys I'm also excited for this kit too like oh so excited um okay so first things first you do have a little um freebie here that does have a couple of script stickers and owl doing laundry some takeout and a vote nope I don't know what the nope means. I know, I'm sure it's from some kind of TV show that I've never seen, but there's that. That is the um, freebie. And this is what I wanted to show you guys. Oh my God, I can't with this journaling card. It is so pretty. I don't tend to keep a lot of journaling cards, but like, I'm keeping this. I don't care. I'm keeping this Princess Diaries journaling card. Like, I love the crown with a diary and oh my God. I love it. I love this so much. So we are keeping hands down that. Okay. So I know I want to like haul this believe kit, but like I can't not do the princess diaries one first. I just, I have a problem. I love Disney purely because I miss it because I haven't been working in, I don't know, however many months now at this point, but like, I just, I love the princess diaries too. And I just, I love this kit. I'm so excited for this. Okay. So 
I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay, so I know I've talked about before how I don't like the kind of blurred aspect of some kits, and this do this kit does have that specifically with this box right here. Um, it does have that kind of very blurred effect, um, effect. Okay, camera, are you just not gonna fully focus? Okay, I guess I have to, like, zoom out a tiny bit. Um, so it definitely, it, it is really, really pretty still, but it does have that like, kind of blurred out effect in this. I do still really like it, though. It doesn't bother me as much as some other kits, but I, I didn't care, honestly. I was like, I'm buying this no matter what. I really genuinely don't care. Um, so first things first, you do have this box, which matches that journaling card, which I love. You have her Mustang here. Um, you have her getting her little makeover, this with the soy nets and catch a falling star, music sheet and Grove High School, I just, oh my god, I can't. You have the intersection of where, um, her accident happened and then you have the streets of San Francisco with the limo and the flag, Fat Louie, and just the details in this kid is amazing. The sari on the pizza and the corn dog, it's just the sari with M&Ms. Sorry. Um, I just, I love the details in this and I just, I love, 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 love this kit. I can't say it enough. I love this kit. I might end up using this maybe in January. I feel like it's a very January-esque like colored kit. I don't know. Let me know when you guys will use this. Um, next you have the deco up here. You have a weekend banner, some checklists, a nope, um, movie marquee, a couple of scripts, which these are really, really tiny, um, but I probably wouldn't use them, but they are a little bit tinier. Um, you do have two habit trackers, two squared off boxes, some appointment labels, and some date covers. You have some headers, um, a weekly sidebar sticker, some more appointment labels, a three heart checklist, some more just half boxes and quarter boxes and stuff. And then you do have the washi sheet, which is very elegant. This matches, I feel like, her dress. It's kind of what this reminds me of is her final dress in the end of the movie. That's what this like pattern reminds me of. Um, and then you do have the glitter headers as well. So that is the Princess of Genovia kit. I am so excited to be using this kit. You guys have no idea. I'm just, I'm beyond excited for this kit. So there is that. Next kit that I'm so excited for is the Believe kit, which I will hands down be using this this year. I know this is technically could be a Disney kit, but I'm not going to be using it for next year. I'm going to be using it this year and I love this kit also. A lot of people I feel like don't like this movie, but I do personally. I think it's a really, really pretty movie or pretty movie. Wow. Really, really good movie. Um, but I do, I don't know. I just really like it. So I picked up this kit as well. Um, so first thing first, you have your full boxes. I love the conductor with the believe. I think that's really, really cute and really well done. And then obviously you have to have the, um, Polar Express right here. And I just, I love it. I love the details again. And the snowman's really cute. The um, caribou's really cute. I just, I love it. I don't know. I, I don't know. I guess I can't say much more about it. I love it. Um, next, you have your kind of deco sheet with all the extra functional stickers. Um, ooh. Okay, one really nice detail with this. I don't know if you guys can really tell, but there is kind of like a snow effect detail on all of these stickers, which is actually really nice detailing. Okay. I see you simply a miss. Okay. <laughs> um, next you have your like half boxes sheet and last but not least you have your washi sheet which this is probably one washi that I will not be cutting just because I love the houses and if you cut this in half it will just look really weird so probably will not be cutting that washi but that is the believe kit that is based off of the Polar Express. Again really excited to use that. Okay, next I have two Disney kits because I just, I couldn't help myself. I need the Disney kits. I need them all because my Disney year needs them. So first ones first, you have the Far, Far Away collection, which this one I've actually been debating on getting for a while now. I've seen it in her shop multiple times because I've made a couple different orders for with her and I finally decided just to purchase it. I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. I'm a much bigger Marvel fan than I am Star Wars, but I do like this kit and I do know a decent amount of Star Wars to warrant me getting this kit. Um, so first things first, you have the full boxes. I think it's the kind of firework aspect of it that I really, really like. Um, I probably will be using just a basic 4th of July kit for the 4th of July next year, but honestly, this would be a good kit to use for the 4th of July just because it has so many different firework aspects to it. Um, but you do have all the, like, the normal characters. You have a Stormtrooper, R2-D2, BB-8, um, the Death Star, X-Wing, I think. I don't know. You have the a long time ago and a far, 
far oh my god in a galaxy far far away um obviously you have darth vader the lightsabers and the at ats or the ATATs, whatever people say with them you have those um next this is a little bit of an older format i believe because these are this is a little different than the other two um but you do have the deco a weekend banner some checklists a bill do icons appointment labels some more of those little scripts these ones do have a couple icons with it and a movie marquee and then you have headers and half boxes and the last one at least you have your washi sheet that has the bottom washi some habit trackers a weekly sidebar sticker some flags and then some more washi so there is that. That is the Far Far Away collection. And last but not least, I got the Mary Poppins one, which I've been, funnily enough, trying to find a Mary Poppins kit, and I feel like most shops just don't have one. I think Scribble Prince Co. did one a while ago. I could be completely wrong on that. Um, but I don't know. Most shops just don't have one. And this one is very different to my usual planning style, I feel like. But I'm kind of excited for that because it's a little bit of a different change um, and change is always good in planners so this one is a very much a more floral kind of girly watercolor-esque kit but I think it will be good I think it's really pretty so I'm excited for this one as well so this is the Jolly Holiday collection and it is the Mary Poppins inspired one obviously um, so you have anything can happen if you let it just a spoonful of sugar you have the umbrella here another umbrella there her little bag the carousel and then the chimney tops up here um, next you have the deco and the icons and checklists and stuff. Um, and then you have your headers and the half boxes. And then last but not least you have your washi sheet. So again, this one is a little bit of a different type of style than what I normally go for, but honestly, I still think it will be really, really pretty. Like this will be really pretty in the spring. Um, and I don't know, I'm just really excited for all of these kits from Simply Mess specifically. Like guys, I just, I can't. I can't with this kit like it's just it's so pretty so that is everything that I have from simply a mess next I have an order that is from oh my gosh what is this place called I don't have an invoice for this one I don't remember what it's called oh I think it's the painted mouse hold on let me check this actually let me see if there's I don't think there's anything in here that says what this is from um Nope, it doesn't. Okay, hold on. Let me look this up on Etsy really quickly. I want to say it's the Painted Mouse, but I also have been purchasing a lot of, like, different decals and stuff from different shops, so I want to make sure that I am telling you guys correctly what it is. If my phone will load. There we go. Um, almost there. Almost there. I have too many orders on Etsy right now. <laughs> that one's no white space stickers. It's not them. It is the Painted Mouse. Yes, okay. It is the Painted Mouse. So, this is... A, the Painted Mouse Co. Um, this is an order that I purchased from them to help with the um, decorating and setup of my planner, um, which this sticker is a little bit different than that one. Oh, the coloring just looks a little different. I guess it's the same. Oh, that's okay. Um, but yeah, so this is for setting up my planner for 2021. Um, so I did purchase a couple more decals and then a um, print right here. So I'll start with the print. So this is a 5x7 Disney World technically print, but it's honestly, it's Rapunzel themed. So it doesn't specifically need to be Disney World, um, but it's just a Mickey head. And then it does have Rapunzel um, different ass accents in it. So it has like the frying pan, the flower that is known um to like her land and then it does have the um little lanterns as well and I believe she does hand draw all of her artwork like all this is hand drawn but I believe these are as well um which is really really cool so if you guys haven't checked her out go check her out I'm like wiggling this as if it's foil it's not and this is really nice cardstock as well so I'm excited to use this um and then I believe all of these little mickey heads are little like extras because they are little like kind of confetti type mickey heads which will be nice too because i can totally use these as well in my setup so there are a decent amount of those so i'll just stick those to the side um and then like i said i got a couple of her vinyl stickers or vinyl decals um so First things first, you have this one, which is Wally and Eve, which is really cute. Um, I just couldn't not get this because, I don't know, I thought... <sighs> My camera cut me off. I don't know where it cut me off, but first things first, I got Wally and Eve. 
I, I don't know. I don't know what I said and what I didn't. Um, but this is again in that kind of watercolor type. Um, I think actually all of these are watercolor, but I just think it's really cute. And I was looking for a Wally and Evelyn for a while. And I just, I love her little flower crown. I just think it's so cute. So that one's Wally and Eve. Next I got Forky. Kind of random, but you know, he's cute too. And I couldn't resist getting him. Um, next I have the balloons, which are very just basic park balloons and last but not least this one's really cool and I am nowhere near setting up my Halloween one yet um but I couldn't resist getting this this is a small world like a spooky small world and I love it in the photo this was a little bit more yellow which is why I said the coloring's a little different but honestly that every monitor is different um so it's not that big of a deal but it's still really 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 cute and I love just spook spooky small world I think it's really great so that is my order from the Painted Mouse Co. Okay, next, I feel like I'm getting out of breath because I'm just talking so much. Um, next, I have an order that is from No White Space Stickers. This is, like, I think my second order from her. I think I placed this during the PBC sale. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but this also includes a couple of different die cuts that I decided to purchase. So... First thing you have is this monorail. Um, I like the monorails. Don't ask me why, but I do. Um, so it's just a pretty long um, monorail. Can you focus on the monorail and not behind it? Okay, fine. Don't. Um, but this is just a pink monorail, which is really cute. And then I actually really love this sticker. Um, this is the Disneyland sign, which is the original Disneyland sign. And I love it. I just, I'm so glad that there's a Disneyland version of this because not every shop does Disneyland. They do Disney World because I feel like that's the more popular one um so I'm definitely glad that she does have a Disneyland sign so I got that one and then I did get this one which is just a rainbow with the heart and the gloves I just love anything rainbow to be honest um but also I just I love this design so there is that um and then I think these were a couple freebies yeah because I didn't order these um so these are little kind of sticker paper like it's not actually it's not sticker they're just paper um but they are little circles and one has monorails on it and the other one has the little disney snacks and then last but not least which i know that she is kind of known oh this is a little journaling card you guys can see that um she's kind of known i feel like for these these are decals so this is a sticker um and it did come with like a little like kind of um wooden popsicle stick I'm assuming to kind of help you press this down as you apply it um but I'm probably just going to stick this into the dashboard from rose color days and not stick this on anything that way I'm not wasting it um but this is really cool she has a couple different versions of these um but they she has like all the different parks but this one is obviously of Disneyland because I do work at the Disneyland resort so I did pick purchase this. I don't know if she has a California Adventure one. I'd have to go back and look at that, but I got this. Again, it's a sticker, so you can kind of stick this onto any type of paper, anything you want, which is really cool. So, that is everything from No White Space Stickers. Okay, moving on to Scribble Prints Co. I have two more shops, and I'm not looking forward to the Simply Gilded one, because it's literally going to take me forever. Um, so it's actually Scribble Prints Co. I feel like at this point. Okay, so we'll just start with the top, um, and let me grab this, because this does have my invoice in it. But it also has all of the extras as well. Okay, so first things first, I feel like I've gotten like four of these now at this point. Um, this is a journaling card and then it does have a couple of different sticker sheets in here. This is actually where I got this from and I am keeping these just because I feel like I might actually use them. Um, but there's a green one as well as a red one and then I'm probably just going to declutter um, the little samplers right here. But you do have that. I'm not going to open it because I feel like I have gotten that in like four different orders. Okay, so first things first. I have the Grinch kit, which I know a lot of people did use this art and they did make kits out of it. Um, obviously, because I'm me, I purchased from Scroll Prince Co. I really need my camera battery died. I think I was saying I really need to just branch out and buy more things from different shops, but you know we're getting there very slowly. <laughs> um, but anyway, this is the Grinch kit, and I am so excited for this kit. I think I passed up on her previous Grinch kit just because of the colors were kind of insane, but I just couldn't not, like, get this kit. I just, 
Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, so first things first, you have a freebie that does, and these are very pastel colors too, so they're going to be a little bit harder to see, um, but they have, these are the little squared off boxes, um, and then I did get the Fashion Girls a la carte, <clears throat> and I got the glitter headers Ooh, as well, and then this is the kit itself. Again, very pastel colors, so it's going to be a tiny bit harder to see, um, but I just, I love this kit. I love the art in this kit. And I just, I love the pastel colors. This is 100% my pastel kit for the year. And I'm just so excited. So you do have Cindy Lou Who here. Um, you have the Grinch, obviously. I love the houses. Um, you have, I think this is based off of the DreamWorks one. Because I don't think this is in the, um, like, live action one, technically, that has um, Jim Carrey in it. I think this is based off of the newest one, which is the animated one, I think. Don't quote me on that, because um, I don't think he's in the normal um, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. And then you just have a Welcome to Whoville, Max the Dog, and then, of course, the iconic um, Grinch with the ornament. Next, you have all of the deco. I love the amount of deco that you do get in SPC kits. And then you have, um, like, work labels and things. Again, this is a very pastel kit, so it's a little hard to see. Um, you have the functional um, sheet, your half boxes and label sheet, and then you have your bottom washi, which is a really pretty rainbow ombre. So that is the Grinch kit. Really, 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 really pretty. And then the other item that I got in this order is the Christmas kit, which is like my traditional um, green and red spread, or will be my traditional green and red spread. Um, so again, I got a mini kit, and this is the kit that has inspired that journaling card that I've gotten three times now, um, because this is that journaling card so you do get a longer box here as an add-on or as a freebie and then I did also get the add-on um, fashion girls which these are the animal crossing themed fashion girls honestly I just really liked this Christmas tree and the kind of flat lay here with the little characters and the switch um, obviously the fashion girl too but I did pick up that and then I got the glitter headers as well and then here you have the actual kit, so you have the full boxes. I love this flat lay as well with the Christmas favorites, White Christmas, um, like music. There's my Carey one right there. Um, and then you do have this with the, um, oh my gosh, what is it called? Living room. I just, I love this. I think this is really well done. You have a little wrapping station right here. You do have the fashion girls as well and the elf on the shelf, so... I do love this one and then you do have your deco sheet, you have the functional sheet, um, the half boxes and label sheet, and last but not least the washi sheet. Um, I'm also not spending a ton of time on these like kits just because you guys have seen so many Scroll Prince Co. kits it's kind of ridiculous so that's why I'm not going into too much detail with these because you guys have seen them so that is the Christmas kit. This one might be my Christmas day kit, I'm not entirely sure, I haven't decided yet but there's that one. Next, oh, we have Elf, which I'm so excited for. Um, again, I have the freebie in here. So again, you have that same one. Oh wait, this one doesn't have the little stickers with it, but it is the same journaling card. Um, she might have finally run out of the extra stickers. And then, I really hope I didn't just show that on camera. I don't think I did. Um, but the little freebies for this, you do have the blue munchkin sampler, and then this really pretty sparkly hollow um, what are these called? Labels. And then, like I said, I got the elf kit because I couldn't resist the elf kit. I love elf. I think she reformatted this potentially because this has the munchkin heads and she hasn't done these freebies in a while. I think she reformatted this. Um, but you do have the freebie of the little munchkin heads. And then I did get the glitter headers as the add-on. And then here is the actual kit. So you have the full boxes. I love this. I love, again, just the little details in here with like the M&Ms and then you have the maple syrup with the spaghetti. Um, more M&Ms here with Merry Christmas. And just, I again, I just, I love the details in this. Then obviously you have Buddy and Jovi as well. And then you have the deco sheet with all the deco and the work labels and things like that. You have your functional sheet. You have your um, half boxes sheet. This is a, definitely a much older format, 
<clears throat> my voice is slowly dying apparently and last but not least you have your washi sheet so that is the elf kit I'm going to try to fix my voice now because it is slowly dying okay this is fun now okay I think we're good now I genuinely just probably need to drink water because I I feel like I have talked so much now and I really haven't but anyway last but not least we have the mystery kit from Scroll Prince Co and I know the past couple of Scroll Prince Co mysteries I have not been a fan of and I will be honest with you guys, the trend kind of continues. I will kind of explain my kind of thought process on this kit. So this is the November mystery kit. I love the winter colors in this kit. I'll actually just, I'll show you guys the full boxes. I love the winter colors in this kit. Don't get me wrong. I just honestly, genuinely am just like meh about it. And I know some people are absolutely like gushing over this kit. I think it's more of just I'm a little confused as to when to use it because it is 100% a winter kit but also it has mermaids so it's kind of a summer kit and I don't know. I'm gonna keep it in my collection. I will probably end up using it eventually. I'm just more of just like I have mixed emotions on it and it's it's really pretty. Don't get me wrong. I just trying to decide on how, when I'm going to use it. I think that's my issue. Um, but I'll actually show you guys everything, obviously, um, when I go through the kit itself. But I will show you guys all of the extras and things first. So first things first, you have this polar bear, which I think is my favorite part of this entire kit because he is just so cute. And this is a um, vinyl die cut. And I just, I love him. He is so cute. I don't know. That's cute. Um, and then you do get a bunch of foil. So all of the foil in this is a sparkly hollow. So you do get that kind of label sampler. You have the snowflake deco, some full box overlays. That, and then this one says play in the snow and build a snowman. You have icons. And then you do have the three um, overlay sheets with the full box overlays as well as the header overlays. You have the cutout icons the scripts themselves the script sheet and you have the bottom washi sheet so that is all the extras that you get um at least for the foiling and then you do usually get a couple sticker sheet extras yes okay so you do get the 15 millimeter washi sheet or strip right there I will admit I love these fashion girls a lot more for some reason. Um, I mean, I guess you technically could if you really wanted to. Where did my full boxes go? You uh, you can't replace that many though. I mean, I love, I actually genuinely love her. And I would probably replace one of these boxes with her because she is great. And honestly, then if you replace probably the mermaid tail one, it could definitely look more wintry. If you replace her, like if you replace this one with her. I would be down for that. I would 100% be down with that. Okay, okay, I can work with that. I'm okay with that. <laughs> um, just because, like, she obviously doesn't specifically look like a mermaid. She just has, like, the mermaid-esque hair. But, okay. So, you have your full boxes, or extra full boxes. So, you do have some um, princess ones. Obviously, this one, or not princess, sorry, mermaid ones. This one, obviously, is definitely based off of Ariel, just based off of her little... Um, like shell bra as well as her hair and then you do have like these ice queen type ones which I really love and then you just have a close-up of the princess oh my god why do I keep saying princess the mermaids as well so okay the full boxes definitely do make it a little bit better I will admit I don't know I'm still a little like iffy on when I want to use this but we will see so there's that um and then the other extra that you get is okay Lindsay stop throwing everything um you get the labels and the glitter set or uh, glitter header like sampler right there so, okay moving on to the physical kit so first thing you have again are the full boxes which I feel like you guys have already seen my favorite hands down is the polar bear I just think it's really cute I love the ombre in the back of it I do love her I love her hair I think it's very Elsa-esque um you have a double box here you have the jellyfish so so I do really like this kit I just am a little confused on when I want to use it that is my issue so at least yeah mixed feelings on that but other than that not too shabby so there's the full boxes anyway I'm gonna shut up now also everyone is making noise in the background I'm sorry if you can hear that um you have the two full boxes here I love this hand I think this is really pretty I love her nails um and then you have some labels here the squared off boxes and some ombre heart checklist you have the deco also these are very pastel colors as well so it's a little bit harder to see you have the functional sheet the half boxes sheet the um glitter or not glitter oh my god icons and um pattern washi you have the little things and labels and then you have your washi sheet so 
that is the November 2020 mystery kit. Not talking crap on it. I'm just a little bit iffy on it. I know a lot of people are just obsessed with this kit though and it is really pretty. It's just more of those like I'm confused type situations. Like I probably would have preferred not to have a mermaid in it but that is just my own personal opinion on it. And yeah, okay, that is everything from Scope Prince Co. Now we have the monster that is Simply Gilded. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the sticker albums first and then I will move on to the washi. So, um, I don't know, I think this is also two orders from Simply Gilded. I think, I, I'm pretty positive it is. Hold on, let me look at my invoices. I think I have two invoices from, from Simply Gilded. I do, okay, so I do have two orders from here. So I'm not entirely sure which sticker book is which, but I will do my best to try to explain it to you guys. Okay, so the first one I have already opened and used. This is going to be my new Harry Potter sticker book. Um, if you guys have seen my decluttering series or even just my small sneak peeks that I've done on my um, Instagram, I am doing a complete overhaul of my whole entire sticker organization and that includes my character storage and majority of my sticker sheets are going to be taken out and I'm putting all the individual stickers onto like larger um, sticker sheets. I was originally using sticker books but they were a little too small so I moved on to the sticker sheets. Um, I did choose to not do all of my sticker sheets, so that includes Harry Potter and Disney. So my Harry Potter stickers are in here. I've already moved them over just because I need to move them out of that binder. Um, so they are already in here. So this is going to be my new Harry Potter sticker sheet um, album. So it just has anything related to Harry Potter in here. So this one is the sparkle black and black hardware so it is a very very shiny black and i figured this one was good for harry potter just because it kind of has that spooky s to it and then it does have a light pink on the inside so that is the first sticker book the second one is the wisteria one which is this purple one which is really really pretty and this one has silver hardware um, i'm not entirely sure exactly what i'm going to use this one for yet i do have a lot of of foil scripts so they might be used for that not entirely sure but um i do plan on using this for something but the inside of it is also that same purple color and again it just has silver hardware next we have the ones that are from the pre-sale so let's see here okay so the mini sticker book you have the teal pebble which is this one i love the colors of this one which is why i got it just because it is a very very pretty color again not entirely sure exactly what i'm gonna use this one for since this is a pebble it does have a different texture than the other ones this one is a very smooth one while this one has the, the texture and then it does have the um, silver hardware on it and on the inside it has the blush pebble so it does have the same texture on the inside but it is a very pretty blush pink so again, very pretty, really like that one. Um, and if anyone wants a comparison, this is the watermelon one. So the watermelon one is a very, very, very um, bright compared to this one. Um, I only have three other ones. I have that one. I'm not entirely sure what the name of this one is. This one holds all of my foil scripts right now. That one's really thick. Um, and then I do have one of the pearlescent type ones. So this is very similar to the pearlescent type texture. It's just not shiny. So yeah. There is that one. And then the last mini one I have is the Aloha one. I think this was the print that was from one of her mystery boxes and I just loved the rainbow of it. I thought it was really pretty. Again, not entirely sure what I'm going to use it for, um, but this one is the Aloha print with the silver hardware. So it does have the silver heart there and it is a really pretty just kind of peachy pink on the inside. And then it does obviously have all of the little pages here, but I just love the pattern of this one. And this one is definitely going to stand out compared to my other ones just because it's the only patterned one I have, but I just, I love, I love the colors of it. So there's that. And then I did get one more large one. All right guys, so I had to deal with some puppy things because Bailey, who is my dog, is very territorial and she was growling a little bit. So I had to make sure that she was good. Introducing a new puppy to a six-year-old husky is a little a little iffy especially since that husky used to get in fights with our old husky it's a long story but anyway we're just making sure bailey's all good oh see now kujo's barking i'm sorry guys you're gonna hear this in the background but i promise i'm almost done with this anyway <clears throat> okay so i did get the large sticker book this is the 
um, rosy cheeks and rose gold hardware. I just loved the color of this one and just how neutral it was. I do have one other large sticker book which I currently house all of my Disney kits in which all of those will be currently moving um, eventually. Well not currently. They will eventually be moving so that I can plan them out for the year. But um, this is just the same thing just obviously it's a little bit bigger and just for a size comparison this is what the large and the mini look like this is really good for sticker kits and most of the sticker kits that i've bought or that i have do fit into the large sticker books so yeah there's that okay so that is all of the sticker books that i have um let's go ahead and just do let's do the washi from the other one not the pre-sale that might be easier to do. The thing you have is a journaling card which has a really pretty hollow foil on it and it does have a bat. This was her Halloween release and I didn't get everything I wanted because I did actually get to this release a little bit later. Um, I think it's her Aurora. I think it's the Aurora bows which is like the kind of pinky um, like color. That is the one that I keep missing out on. She even restocked it and I missed it again. Um, so I will eventually get my hands hopefully on that one but that was a part of this release and I just unfortunately got two new releases too late and it was already sold out but um yeah anyway so this is from her Halloween release um first thing you get are is this freebie that does have some stickers on it with like her little bunny stickers and then a full box right here and then you do get a bow seal as well and then I believe this is a freebie um this is a washi that has I'm gonna let my camera hopefully focus on it Maybe, maybe not. Focus on what is in front of you, not what is behind you. Come on. Oh, maybe. There we go. Okay. So this is a really, really pretty pumpkin-y um, washi. Not entirely sure what I'm going to use this for, but again, this is a freebie, so I'll use it for something. I'm sorry about the background. <laughs> I'm so sorry about the background noise, guys. I know it's annoying, but here we are. This is my new life, at least for a little bit until the puppy grows a little bit older. So... <clears throat> Okay, we're going to just zoom you guys in. Um, so, first things first, let's go ahead and you do the purpley-ish one. So, this is the Lavender Ice Metallic, which is really pretty. Um, it is obviously a really pretty light purple, and it does have that metallic to it. It's a little bit harder to see the metallic, but it is definitely there, and it does have white bows. So, really pretty. So, you have the 15 millimeter and the 10 millimeter. Next, you have the white pearl, which is this one. Again, this is metallic as well, and this has the black bows with it. <coughs> really, really pretty. Um, next, you have the black pearl and white bows. This one is probably the easiest one to see that metallic behind it, but this one's really pretty. It looks like an oil slick. I love that. Um, and then I did get the three set of the spirit bows. So those are all three of those bows in the five millimeter washi. And then last but not least, I have the purple foxglove, which is another purple. It's kind of a little bit of a periwinkle and it has white bows as well. So really excited for these metallic ones. I actually just love metallic um, foil like washi in general. I will eventually get my hands on that pink one. I will eventually, um, but it is extremely popular and I feel like it's sold out every single time that she restocks it. I think she's only restocked twice, but it has been sold out. But anyway, okay, moving on to the pre-sale washi. Start with the box set first. See, I thought I'm missing some. I don't know what I did with them. Hold on. I totally was missing some. I have two more boxes. I also just realized I have two more orders that I need to show you guys and one of them is actually really exciting. Um, okay, so I, I thought I had two more box sets. I just didn't know exactly where they were. Okay, so the first one is the Blush Baby Neutral box set. So this is all of the Blush Baby bows with rose gold foil. And these are all in 15 millimeter. I don't remember if she had 10, 10 millimeter options, um, but I personally don't use 10 millimeter. Um, so I did get the... 15 millimeter. If she did offer the 10 millimeter, I just didn't get it. Um, but you do have all of the blush baby colors right here. I don't know if they have separate names for them, but this is what they all look like. And they all have rose gold foiled bows. I think this one's my favorite just because it is the most pinkyish out of all of them. And I don't have a lot of neutral bows. So I'm really excited to have these be added to my collection. Next, I have the Crystal Galaxy 
um, collection. So these are the, this is Galaxy Collection number 17. She has a lot of these. So these have silver holographic on them and they are an ombre, which is really, really pretty. I love this ombre right here. Um, it is essentially the ombre that is in the, like on the box itself. Really pretty. And this is a holographic kind of like shattered holographic. If you guys can see that. So you do have the bows with the ombre, the moons, the celestial one, and then this one is gorgeous. This is like the, I don't even know how to, what to call this, but it has all the stars and hearts on it. And this one's just really, really pretty. And that's the best version you're going to get or be able to see with this um, shattered hollow. It's just, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So that is the Galaxy 17.0 collection. That is the crystal one. And then I did get the sunset one, which is number 16. And this one has silver holographic um, as well. Oh, that one was silver holographic sparkler. So that was what the other one is. This one is just silver holographic. Ooh, this one is an ombre the other way. Ooh, I love it. Okay. So you have, again, the ombre bows, which are just beautiful. I love the different colors on this. And it has the hollow bows. You have this one, which is that kind of star confetti one with the ombre. You have the moons and the celestial really 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 pretty i love this i love this bow washi this one's really really pretty i don't know when i'm gonna use it but we're gonna be using it for something okay next we have the rest of the pre-sale i believe that's all my box sets yes okay we're just gonna dump all that out too many too many okay so first thing you have is another seal and then I did get, ooh, this journaling card. This is really pretty. It says, chase your dreams. Oh, okay, camera. Focus. Focus. Really pretty. Oh, my God. Okay. Don't focus. That's cool, too. There we go. Okay, no. There we go. Really, 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 really pretty ombre. I'm going to stop just trying to get that to focus. Um, okay, so not quite sure why that one's by itself. Oh, you do have freebie here as well with some icons and a full box and okay so I don't know what exactly is what but we shall figure it out okay so let's start with I believe this one this is the mermaid dreams bow variation with silver holographic sparkly holographic really pretty and it is a variation so it does have different versions of it this is my version right here so you do have the 15 millimeter and the 10 millimeter um, again, puppies and dogs are playing with each other. Um, okay, next you have the powder puff bow. No idea what that one's called or what that one is. I don't know. Powder puff. I would assume maybe one of these two. I don't know. 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 There's also like some white stuff that came out of that package. Don't ask me why. Okay, anyway, you have this one, which is a really, really, really pretty neutral color with some silver foil. Is this silver? This hot that's silver. Blush steel horizontal bows and silver. I don't know. You have pretty foil and pretty washi. I have no idea what's what. Um, one of these is blush steel. One of these is powder puff. I don't really know. I think this one might be blush steel. This one might be powder puff. Not sure, but you have those. And then you have the steel bow, which I would assume would be this one. This is kind of the closest color to a steel with silver foil. We'll go with that. <laughs> um, you have, I think, the dove gray, which I think is this one. And then you have, let's see, the tender teal and silver, which I think is this one. I think. Who knows? At this point, who knows? Okay, and then you have... So just now looking at my invoice, the horizontal bows were the five set of... Or the five millimeter washi. So I probably just said all of that wrong. But you know, here we are. Okay, so this is the five millimeter washi. That is the um, blush steel. I'm sorry, guys. I said all that completely wrong. But you know, 
it's fine. We have Simply Gilded Washi. It's all pretty. And yeah, this is the five millimeter. And then I'm not entirely sure why this one came. I wonder if this one is a misfit or something. And so they just added in this one. I'm not entirely sure because they look pretty much the same. The two bottom ones look pretty much the same. So I'm not entirely sure what that one is um, or why that was in there. But that is everything from Simply Gilded. I know that was kind of a mess. Me just trying to film this. I'm so sorry because of all the background noise and everything that's happening. And me not knowing what washi is what. But that is everything from Simply Gilded. And now I'm actually going to show you guys the last two things that I have. I can't believe I actually forgot about these two orders. It was because they were sitting on my ground. But... We are hauling them. We're good. Um, so this first order is from Plan with Emily. Um, I hope I'm saying your name right. She is actually from Sweden. I think that's why I'm like, I hope I'm saying your name right. It's spelled like Emily. So I hope so. Um, but anyway, I've been talking to her for a, maybe a couple months now, or at least a month on Instagram. And like we talk back and forth. Um, she has the cutest little son and she's one of the nicest people ever and I told her I would finally purchase from her shop and I finally did once I had enough money to do so. Um, so she does sell little planner clips for your planners and I have even talked to her about this. I legit am the worst at trying to make good planner setups and that includes using these paper clips but you know I wanted to purchase them I wanted to support her and also I want to try to make them look good that is my goal so um she did include this little um card that does just have her um logo on it and by the way all the shops that I mentioned in this haul will be linked down below um any shop that you see in this haul will be linked down below but yeah so you have this and then she did leave me just a really nice note on the back of it and she did also um include a couple of extras which was so nice of her I she's just the sweetest person so um it was wrapped like this I did kind of tear into it because I am the worst um but it has some really pretty washi on it it does also have some washi on the back as well but again I tore open it I tore open the tissue because I wanted to use it so like I said, um, these are little um, palm planner clips and they are so cute. So I believe I ordered these four and then she did send me these ones as extras and I'm so excited to use them. And then all of them do have some washi on the back. So we are going to open these up probably really loud so I'm sorry I'm gonna open these ones and then I'll probably just leave these in their bags just because that's probably really noxious um I believe you can choose which paper clip color you want I am a silver girl so I did choose silver and then I got four different colors I believe this one is let's see I will tell you hold please I need to go to my order okay so this one is the pale pink um pom-pom paper clip which is really 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 cute and just like i guess for a size comparison um i will show you what my actual planner is. this is my planner and this is a size comparison so if i were to just stick that right on top really cute actually it looks pretty cute to me we'll see <laughs> um also definitely could go like on the side over here as well so that is the pale pink one um and then i did get the mint delight which is this one right here which is a really pretty light blue minty color and then the lavender one is this one and then last but not least i got the poolside blue which will be perfect for the little brighter um type spreads and just setups in general um so you can definitely use this for the summer so those are the palms I will give you a little bit of a close-up they just are little pom-poms so nothing too like crazy to see in a close-up but that is what they look like and they do have the two silver paper clips and then like I said she did include some extras so you have this really pretty gray one a really really pretty blush one I actually really like that one and you have a black one it got a little bit darker the sun set so now my lighting is a little bit darker but there is that so that is my order that is from plan with emily she is literally the sweetest person um she was one of the people who had helped encourage me open my shop actually i had a lot of you guys help encourage me to open my shop um but she has just been so supportive and she is just the nicest person so go check out her shop if you guys aren't already um or just even just go follow her on instagram because again nicest human so that is my order that is from 
Plan with Emily. Last but not least, we have this big box. I had a like crazy zoom out for this so you can see all the washi that I just hauled right here. Um, but I finally bit the bullet and I bought an Aura Estelle. I think I said, I don't even know when, maybe my get to know me tag that I was never going to plan on buying an Aura Estelle, but honestly, I just... I wanted one. I bought that binder from Michaels and it was actually too big and that was what I was going to plan on using for the 2021 planner and it was just too big and I did, wasn't a big fan of it so I was like okay I need to come up with something else and she actually came out with new colors and when she came out with these new colors I was like all right now I kind of have to purchase this I feel like so I finally bit the bullet. I had a little bit of extra money and I did buy an Aero style. Um, that's why I was like, I can't believe I almost forgot about this order because it's been sitting. Something just fell. Um, it's been sitting on my floor in a box, I promise. Like, obviously everyone's like, oh my god, you're not taking care of it. No, I promise. It's been in the box since I got it. Um, this has been sitting, waiting for me to haul it for a while now. So, I finally got it in the mail. And, yeah, without further ado, let's just go ahead and open it. I need to move my water bottle all the way. Um, this is obviously covering my address. Just to make sure no one knows that, which is fine so anyway we're gonna open this up so i actually like i said i've never bought an error estelle it's my first ever order and i can't believe how like detailed the boxes and everything are so if you look right here it actually has a whole entire logo which is really really cool and just the packaging is really nice and i can understand the hype the price point is a little high especially since it's literally just the planner itself without the inserts but I think it, I don't know, it's really nice and I'm excited to use it and we'll see kind of my whole entire like thought process after I finally use it. So first thing you have some tissue in here and then you do have an Aura Stell little card that does kind of tell you all about care tips and things like that. And then you do have the actual planner itself in a dust bag. So I'm going to move this out of the way. Sorry guys, the swashy is going to be in the way. We're just gonna, we're gonna leave it. The Aura Stell is gonna be shared in the spotlight with Simply Gilded. Um, so it does come in a dust bag, which is really, really nice. I don't know how many people actually use the dust bag, honestly. <laughs> I'm sure some people do, but I don't know. So I had to get the Cinderella blue colored planner. This is going to be my planner for 2021. This is what I'm going to be using for my Disney planner. I feel like because it's a Disney planner, I just, I had to do it because like, I don't know it's very fitting it is definitely that very pretty cinderella blue and i don't know I, I i i don't know i feel like i'm one of those people now that has hyped on that like jumped on that hype train i'm like i am now that basic planner but i'm not saying everyone who owns an aura still is basic i'm just saying like i feel like owning this is very like uh, trendy and cool so i technically have jumped on that planner now or on that bandwagon now and i don't know i'm excited Am I going to keep doing Aero Stills every year? Probably not, but we are going to be doing it for at least my Disney year. So there's that. Anyway, okay, so it's really, really pretty. It has silver hardware, and then it does, is just that really, really pretty light blue Cinderella color. And then if you open it up, you have the foam, which I'm going to take out. You do on this side have, I'm going to zoom you guys in a tiny bit for this, you have the rings right here, um, and then you do have the also wires too if you wanted to kind of make this, or like the strings, if you wanted to make it where it didn't have the coil, and then you do have all the little pockets here, you have two separate pockets here, and then two big ones, one for a card, and then you have two more separate pockets right there. On this side you have two pen loops and then two little folders also right there and then that is it. So I know I'm probably not hauling this in the best possible way but I'm excited to use this. I am a little sad that I was not a big fan of the Michaels one that I purchased because that is way more budget friendly but I mean I did do a whole entire half a year in a Michaels planner. This is a Michaels planner. Um, it's just unfortunately Michaels planners are not wide so the inserts do stick out of it. Not that big of a deal um, for me for this one but I did want to try the Aura Estelle. So yeah I'm a little nervous because this is a very expensive purchase but I am hoping that I end up liking it and I don't know. I've jumped on to this bandwagon and we'll see if I stay on it or if after a year I decide to try to find something different. But 
that is actually going to be everything for this haul i'm not even going to attempt to move all of this back over you guys are just going to see the rsl for the ending of this video because everything is just piled over here and it's kind of a mess so i think this haul that kind of just honestly accurately describes this haul because this haul was kind of a mess um i'm so sorry about all the background noise and the interruptions and me just kind of being very just out of it but i hope you guys enjoyed this haul um and are excited for all of the things I got. I'm actually just excited to get all of this off of my desk and to be able to put it all away. And also a organization video for all my washi will be coming eventually. I was actually waiting for this specific order for them um, to come in. That way I could organize them. So that will be a part of my organization series coming soon. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, as always, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already and leave me a comment down below and I will see you guys in another video very, very soon. Bye guys!